Hi guys, how you doing? Hey, good. How are you? Hi, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Uh, lovely to chat to you both, Andrea. Lovely to chat to you again. It's been a, a few times over the years. <laughs> um, <laughs> congratulations on this film. I watched it last night, stupidly before I went to bed, and uh, yeah, that was a, a fun experience. But I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, so congratulations on that. Um, I just wanted to ask you both, maybe starting with you, Andrea. Just, just what it was about this script because there's, there's so much in this script and in this story and with Brandon as a, as a filmmaker, uh, I mean, it must've been too good to turn down, but what was it specifically that kind of spoke to you about these characters in this story? I mean, he's a brilliant writer. I love the way he phrases things. He has such, um, he has such, actually has such cheap humor in his writing. Um, but I think also, and I've, I've, I've said this a few times, watching Antiviral and imagining this script in, this yet to be created world, a, a, you know, a version of the past um, that was going to emerge from Brandon's head. That was the thing that I was really, really excited about is, is, is the meeting of the script and the mind, you know, the, the, the it, he puts it down on the page and then you go straight back into his mind. And it's sometimes I just, often, often I wish I could, I could have been in there as we were shooting it. You know, I've said that to you, Chris, before, but I just, I wanted to be in there to know exactly what he was going for sometimes. Yeah. And Chris, how about you? I mean, it's a, it's a fantastic story. I, I, it must have been, again, too good to turn down. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, outside of the fact that, you know, working with Andrea and Brandon and, you know, everyone on this crew, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a part that, like, it's a very actory part, <laughs> you know? I mean, you get to play, like, two people in one. So I think that's, like, it kind of, feels like a no brainer uh, in, in that way. And uh, yeah, this, I, thought, I, thought the, I thought the script was brilliant. Um, uh, it, was, it was an easy yes for me. I, I spoke to Brandon earlier. I think I, I don't know if I offended him because I said that the, the film reminded me of all the body swap comedies I used to watch as a kid in the eighties. And this was like a very, <laughs> very adult, very gory version of those. So I don't know, he did laugh. I thought it was quite funny. Um, but for you guys, the challenges of, of you guys as actors, I mean, you, you're kind of playing the same part, but you're not. I mean, how, how do you kind of wrap your head around that? What, what's kind of the process for you guys uh, with, with, with that in, in mind? Uh, Chris, maybe I'll start with you on that one. Um, well, uh, Andrew and I were both uh, attached to this movie pretty early on uh, for quite a while before we started shooting it. Um, so, you know, we would all, we, I feel like we went to Toronto a couple times to meet, meet with Brandon or um, in various places I felt like we met. Um, and then we'd just talk about it a lot. And um, uh, I, I, there, I think there's a good blend of um, traditional kind of research for it and also uh, I think there's probably a lot of like subconscious work that wound up happening uh, with it as well since you know that we, we both we all had time to kind of sit with it um, so yeah then it, and then when you're on set and uh, you I think we all kind of trusted that we had done enough of the work up up until that point where everything and and I think we did and everything kind of fell into place naturally as far as you know whether we're mimicking each other or whether we're um, trying to pick up on little traits that each other are is doing you know uh, sometimes I would watch if I wasn't in a scene that Andrew was in I would maybe watch a little bit of it um, just kind of to get an essence so I mean I, that's all like fun detective work to do and, then, and I really enjoyed the whole process beginning to end. Was that the same for you Andrea that it, it was kind of the, a similar a similar process and it, I kind of I guess important in some ways to, to see what the other what Chris was doing and then what you could bring to, to the other side of the coin if you like. Um, yes I mean if you think about it <clears throat> sort of from the inside out um, I'm I'm playing a, an assassin who possesses people but she does it so well that you cannot tell even even to those closest to whoever she's, whomever she's possessing, that she has possessed them. So we're both certainly playing Voss, um, but Voss is so good that she's able to totally transform. And that leaves you almost with your hands tied in terms of how we then knit those two people together because ultimately she's an expert at perfectly representing another human being. 
physically, vocally, you know, in every way. Um, but there were certain there were certain things that we agreed upon. There are certain parts of the script, and there are certain almost telltale moments where you start to see both of their worlds coming through in, in spite of themselves or you know, not in spite of Chris's character very much wants to come back to the surface. But, <clears throat> but for, for Voss, as, as, a, as an assassin and a possessor, she's sort of completely lost touch with uh, what is her reality and what is somebody else's. Um, so yes, it was an interesting, you know, we talked a lot about it. There were, there were certain uh, things that we could pepper in, but there was a, but strangely, the thing that worked best is that essentially we were both sh shooting a lot of the same scenes, even if that's not in the film, at different times. And so we were in, I think, a very similar rhythm and what came for that came from that was this sort of symbiosis, this strange, um, you know, we did. A, Chris has mentioned it before, but we did a we did a scene where we're standing almost mirroring each other, and that was so hypnotic. To you know, we, we just mirrored each other in real time, but it was also so strangely so easy, and that was very early on into the shoot. So, um, and I think that's testament to, to Brandon and, and how strong the construct of his, of his worlds are. Um, because very shortly after stepping onto set, you realize you're stepping into something, you know, where every last detail has been thought out or imagined by him. And that's, that's very reassuring. It leaves a lot of space to, you know, mentally go everywhere you've got to go. Yeah. You guys had your own little Marx Brothers uh, moment. That's, uh, <laughs> that's quite, quite interesting. Uh, guys, thank you so much for your time. Thanks Cheers. very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.